Hey, music and film fans, I'm your host, Anika Chung. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm reacting to the very first Bugs Bunny cartoon, a wild hair release in 1940, directed by the talented Tex Avery, starring Mel Blanc as the voice of Bugs Bunny and Arthur Q. Ryan as the voice of Elma Fudd. Elmer Fudd is a dim-witted hunter looking for rabbits. Bugs is a clever, smooth-talking character who confuses Elmer with a double talk and misdirection. Elmer is no match for the waspy rabbit, even when he thinks he got Bugs. He ain't got him. Bugs is 10 steps ahead of him. Film fact! Hmm, I should probably say animation history fact. Did you guys know the very first cartoon with Bugs Bunny in his final redesign? Also, the first real teaming up of Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny. Also, in a rare phenomenal broadcast, A Wild Hair was loosely adapted for the radio as a sketch performance by Arthur Q. Bryan and Mel Blanc on April 11th, 1941, edition of a Al Pierce show. The sketch was followed by a script interview with Leon Schellsinger. For some reason, I know I'm pronouncing his last name badly. I got a question for you Bugs Bunny fans out there. What is your favorite Bugs Bunny redesign? Which decade? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know. Like personally for me, I think I like the 1940s. <laughs> so y'all, let's jump right into this anime short, A Wild Hair. Roll the clip, roll it, roll it. Elmer's nose is so red, <laughs> like Rudolph. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh boy, rabbit twacks. <laughs> rabbit twacks. <laughs> Not so fast, Elmer. <laughs> he is ten steps ahead of you, Elmer. He is. <laughs> What I tell ya? <laughs> Bugs so cute. <laughs> I believe this fella is a R A B B I K. Pardon me, but you know you were just like a rabbit. And uh, come here. Listen, Doc. Now don't spread this around. But uh, confidentially, I am a rabbit. <laughs> wow. Uh, Bob was sandwich. 
Lord Mowie Wayne? Nope. Uh, Olivia de Havilland? Nope, but you're getting warmer. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't be that schooly wabbit, would you? Could be. <laughs> Bugs. Dog on you, old mean wabbit. Another kiss? <laughs> Twig that wabbit. I'll set my wabbit twap. Nice trap, Elmer. Here, yeah, wabbit, wabbit, wabbit. Here, yeah, wabbit, wabbit. Nice flesh cowards. <laughs> steps ahead of Elmer and made him go crazy and that's when that feud between them has been going on for decades but at least they've developed some kind of interesting love-hate friendship dancing and singing together on several of their animated shorts. I can definitely say this is one of my favorite animated shorts. Tex definitely put his own spin to the wild hair. It is memorable, entertaining, I like the animation. This is like the OG Bugs bunny they do not make animation like this no more luckily we get to see it on youtube or sometimes where archives will always have clips of those thank you warner archive <laughs> 
As I mentioned before, the 1940s and 50s is one of my favorite designs of Bugs Bunny. Tex Avery and Mel Blanc truly gave us the Bugs Bunny that we love and adore. What is your favorite Bugs Bunny short from the decades? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always. And remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. The pictures. Cheers, and that is a wrap. <laughs> there, guys. That's all, folks.